Hi, Javier. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? What's wrong? What happened to loyalty, Arthur? I keep asking myself the same question. Sure, Arthur. That's enough, Javier. Milani? Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Sure. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on. The place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Was that it? <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Oh, Rainsfall is so kind, but I don't think it's gonna go well at all. That Colonel Favor sounds like a real jackass, so I don't think... What? Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Uh, I think you'd be surprised. Yeah. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. Mm -hmm. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I hope so, too. The army's totally poking at the Indians here, being like, Hey, hey, fight back, fight back. And the moment they do, they're gonna be like, Oh, okay, now we can legally fight back. Exactly like Charles says. And it feels like Eagle Flies is gonna fall right into that. We're doing this meeting for Rain's Fall right now, but we haven't done the thing for Dutch and Eagle Flies yet. So I'm sure that's gonna go really well later on. Here we 
we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Whoa! What? We chash a killer now. Kola with Yumpi. Hilpo. Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Careful! You're the one bumping into me, Charles. Yeah. Easy. Where are we? Hitch? Easy. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you... Can you not hitch because I'm blocking you? Curiosity. Sorry. I'm just wondering where such a meeting site would be at. So Fort Wallace is here, and the reservations are here. I would have thought that the meeting would be like here, but maybe that's gonna be more of a war zone. Ugh. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr... Um... Chief. Yes, uh, Mr... I can't say that silly name. Wow! In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm... Uh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Listen... I hate this guy already. We're all Americans here. And we want an outcome. But quite frankly... Quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. No. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. ...federal government... Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. A little bit worried because they have one less person at the table. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe was a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He's right! He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Favors is the warmonger here. Violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir? 
from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I... I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall... You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. Let him go. I'll kill you. I'll kill Stand you first. What you're doing. Get off we me. Leave now. Open fire on them. That was a good call though because they were going to they were probably going to kill Captain Monroe. Unfortunately though, Captain Monroe, would he appreciate that? Cuz he is a soldier, a government official, and we kind of just ruined his job. We got some on our tail. That is fine. I don't mind killing army people. Bumping music. Shoot at these men. Yeah, we can. Oh frick! Ben. Wrong rifle. Keep getting the wrong one. Please hold your fire. Coming. Kill those Indian lovers. I love Indians. Leave you in the dirt. Hold your fire. You just wounded. Okay, let's try not to kill them then, since Captain Monroe asked. They're his friends too. You are Come joking on. me. Come on, Captain. Can you shoot? I can't do it. They're trying to kill you. I swore an oath. You're not walking away from this. Shit. That's it for you. I nearly got me. Behind us. Oh. What's our plan? Our plan is to get you safe. Because it's too late. Find a low, then make for the valley. My hat! Four of them! Just hold! They're behind you! This is insanity! Oh my god! It's a lot of people. And where's my hat? They're trying to surround us. I'm gonna count out your eyes, hat. Oh. Damn it. We're sitting ducks here. This goes so wrong. Okay, it's now or never. Let's go. Captain Monroe, you're with me. Dude, seriously, what happened to my hat? I'm still standing at the same spot when I lost it. Well, you know I care because it's Hamish's hat, but... Okay, right now we gotta care about Captain Monroe. Was that a hat? Yes! Here we go. Okay. Arthur, let's go. Hop on, Captain. Be sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on, follow me. God, when his horse died earlier. Yep. I thought Captain Monroe died too. It scared me so much. They're still coming. Backstabbing sons of bitches. You're a dead man now. Nice. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. 
I'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Train right here. Yeah, it's nice that we saved Captain Monroe, but what about the tribe? Should have killed Colonel Favors while we could. <laughs> Oh, he's got a freaking bullet hole in his butt. <coughs> it's gone. Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Ha -ha. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. I need you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <coughs> Sister! Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Or I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but... I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall oh. try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister.
Uh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad for Arthur. He really isn't a bad guy underneath all this. Yes, definitely. He's killed a whole bunch of people and all. I'm so sad right now, but thank you for pooping, Agro. The sister can see it. But Arthur... It's because he's a good person. That's why he can't see it. If he was a bad person, he'd just be like, whatever. But Arthur does have some semblance of a conscience and all that, and that's why he feels so bad. And that's why he's so upset with himself. Oh, poor, poor Arthur. How can the world do this to him? Hmm, kill a pursuer's horse during the escape? What? You want me to kill a horse on purpose? Come on. No. It also feels like because Arthur is nearing the end of his life, maybe he's willing to take a lot more risks now too. Because if it was the old Arthur, he probably wouldn't have helped with the whole thing here, right? The meeting and all. And even if he did, if he heard that Captain Monroe was dying, I think he would try his best to help him, but to kill army officials and piss off the entire American army just for that one person who's not even part of our gang? Maybe that's not something that he would do. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. If we want to follow on the Indian storyline, we should probably go to Eagle Flies, but you know what? I'm feeling so sad right now. <laughs> Actually, either of these missions are going to ruin it. Eagle Flies, Micah. Both of these are probably gonna ruin my mood. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go for Micah. This one's been outstanding for a long time. Steal the wagon of explosives from the army convoy en route to Saint Denis from Annisburg. I'm really glad we got to see the sister again, though. Really, really glad. She's always such a bright light. Went to see the fella, Hamish Sinclair. He's quite a sportsman and outdoorsman. Went fishing for pike. Got him in the end. Wants to take me hunting. Hamish, not the pike. <laughs> Went back and someone or something had killed the professor. His mechanical creature had been stolen. Stolen or walked away? Pecu pecunie obedient omta? Dutch in his infinite wisdom decided to shoot Leviticus Cornwall. Now, I'm not saying Cornwall did not need shooting, but I don't think it was quite our place to act as his judge and executioner. Micah and Dutch seem to be planning something. Seems like what they both want most of all is all of us dead. That's a pretty picture. No, 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 more. Saw Eagle Flies, the chief's son again. Dutch was captivated by him, turning on all his charm and confidence and seeming like a dangerous snake. What is wrong with him? Eagle Flies is desperate and angry. The local regiment are tormenting him and goading him into a fight. Now Dutch is in his ear. This will be a disaster. Poor old Karen has taken to the drink. Something awful. Went back to the place, Butcher's Creek. The locals thought they were being attacked by demons, but I think they were just sick dogs. Seems like Obadiah, the elder, is also possessed. Oh! Very much the chucks, what the hell? Oh my god! Agro! Agro! Come on, girl. Agro! Oh! Unforgivable. Agro, come over here. We gotta get our revenge. Yeah, we're kinda in the middle of nowhere right now. Perfect. Perfect.
There's one person there. Let's wait till we pass them first. Oh, there's someone here too. I was just there. You didn't even ask me to move or anything. You just ran me over and almost killed Agro. What the hell? Oh god. Why me? Oh no. Help. I don't even care. Okay, girl. No, I want to get the other yeah. guy. I want to hogtie him. Yeah. But if we can't, I'll kill him. Yeah. Oh! It's not the way to do it. Did I get him? Come back here. We gotta get him before he gets to the city. Aggro, we gotta get him. Okay, my girl. Yeah. Okay, there's yeah, another I'm guy here now. Him. Frick. You Okay, those two guys I've gotta leave. Okay, we're almost at a oil field, not a town. We're fine. Look what we got here. <laughs> yeah. Come on! Devil in hell! You got horse shit for brains! Now I got you. And you're walking away. But not for long. Turn it into a bad day for you, mister. Help! Good thing the people didn't care. Please, let me go. Here we go. I can't believe we did all this and nobody noticed. Comfortable enough for you? Should probably get out of here though, because that other dead body's right there. God help! Uh, I do want to let the horses go, because the horses did nothing wrong. Be free, my friends. These people are horse killers. Both of them. Get out of here. That's cool, girl. Talk all you want, lady. You won't make no difference. Oh, there's a lawman right here. Frick. I might want to save the lady, but I can't. I can't do this right now. I'm sorry. I got um I have my own personal matters to attend to. Sorry, lady. Lost a little bit of honor because of this, but in my mind, what I'm doing right now is very, very honorable. Remember my secret fantasy? Hmm, this is too shallow. No, I think it'll be okay in the middle, maybe. Yes, if we go in here, that should be deep enough. Hmm, it's actually pretty shallow here throughout. But it's okay, we'll make do. Am I still wearing a bandana? I am. Is 
Is he actually gonna die? He's still somehow staying alive because it's too shallow here. Hmm. Oh. Oh God, no! Horse theft. <laughs> Christ's sake! Ah, so the hogtie does come loose once in a while. Is he gonna die here? He's like on the grasses. If not, don't worry. I'll bring you somewhere nice. I'll bring you to a deeper lake. Where can I find the deepest lake in this whole place? How about the lake where we knew the legendary pike was? That place was pretty deep. Yeah, we'll just head straight up. Okay. Don't worry, mister. I'm gonna make sure you die a slow and painful death for what you did to me and Agro. That was ridiculous. I was in the middle of reading and you didn't even warn us or anything. You just straight up ran over us and Agro twice. That's just not how things should be, man. You have no manners. You're unfit for society. I'm doing the world a justice by killing you. Can't go that way, but that's okay. Um, you know what? I'll meet you at the pond. Actually, there's one right here, isn't there? What is this called again? Moonshine Pond? Or Hanny's... Hanny's Bethel? This one seems pretty deep. Oh, this is the haunted house, isn't it? Okay. Aggro? Aggro? I want you to be hitched here, and I want you to watch this happen, okay? Come follow me. This should be deep enough. If only there were alligators here. No, it's no fun, because this is a little bit too deep. So you can't even hear him scream. Can we put him nearer to the shore, but still drowning, so that I can hear him scream? You watching this aggro? <laughs> Any minute now. I can't expect you to die from this, right? Okay. Get away from me. Turns out this doesn't work so well. Fine. Fine, fine. I've heard enough of your coughing. We'll just drown you directly. <laughs> I lost. Oh! He died. 
What? He died when I was hog tying him. That's no fun. Oh, I'm really disappointed. I wanted him to drown. Gosh dang it. This is what you deserve. Oh, can I not take it out because I'm in the water right now? Probably. Oh, the lighting's not so good here. I don't even know where you are. Maybe the other side? <laughs> okay, I can't even see where he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. A fond memory for me to remember you by. This way, Arthur. Right over here. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, we spent a lot of time on this, but I'm finally satisfied. We can move on now. <laughs> oh, God. I guess we should still go back to Micah, because he's still kind of close and stuff. Can I at least finish the journal page I was reading though? Like, what even was I reading about? Jeez. Went back to that place, Butcher's Creek. The locals thought they were being attacked by demons, but I think they were just sick dogs. Seems like Obadiah, the elder, is also possessed by the snake oil shaman fella that turned up. He wants me to destroy some cursed charms in the woods around there. We shall see quite what the shaman's game is, but there's some nonsense afoot. Some nonsense afoot indeed. Moccasin Orchid. Alrighty. Let's go to Micah then.